This trip to the countryside will be good for you, Holmes. Hmm. As your friend and your doctor, I really do recommend that you give yourself a complete change of scene. Fresh air, brisk walks, bird watching, chopping wood. Sounds intoler I mean, certainly it sounds delightful. But you haven't yet told me who your friend is. The one we're going to visit. He is a bee lover. A bee lover? Do you mean that he keeps bees? That must be Mrs. Hudson, bringing the warm cloth that I requested. There is someone to see you, Mr. Holmes. I have no time. Send whoever it is away. Yes, Holmes, I really think we ought to leave now. Mycroft. Oh. Sherlock. Oh, uh, Mr. Holmes? Perhaps you don't remember me. I'm Dr. Watson. Uh, we met at the Diogenes Club a few years ago. I documented our encounter in a short story I gave the title The Greek Interpreter. He does remember you, Watson. My brother remembers everything, and that is why he is so valuable to the government. We are about to depart for the train station. I know. You know? Sherlock, I need your help. There are people who presently threaten both our country and the Crown itself. You must help us with those methods of yours. Need? Help? Those are not words I would readily associate with you, Mycroft. I wrote you a letter, but you did not reply. And this is not about politics. It's about people. People similar to those whom you pretend to defend in your petty detective affairs. Everything is about politics with you, Mycroft. I'm not interested. Have some of your agents, your spies, or worse, undertake this job of yours. You are defending your people, and they have little to do with the people I choose to help, I can assure you. That is the point. You think exactly as they do. Who are they? The Merry Men. He is talking about the Merry Men, a band of idealistic terrorists. Sherlock, do please think about it. They are planning something diabolical. Your country needs you. You need me, Mycroft, and you are not the country. Although if your waistline expands very much further... Mrs. Hudson, tea will not be necessary. Dr. Watson, the train conductor, Mr. Parker, is aware that you will be seven minutes late. You are in the fourth car. The train will be waiting for you. Sherlock... Enjoy your time in Staffordshire, and do please at least write to me on your return. Okay, hallo zurück zu Sherlock Holmes. Ja, das Rätsel auf den Gleisen wollen wir jetzt spielen. Ähm, Briefe nehmen, ja, nehme ich doch mal. Was haben wir denn da? Ein Brief. Den hat er uns geschrieben, der Minecraft, oder wer... Ja, den haben wir leider <lacht> verloren im Faustkampf. Nun ja. So, wir wollen aber... Kleinen Moment mal. Ja, das hatten wir gerade. Wir haben... Oh, eine Trophäe mitgenommen. Die Harpune. Sehr schön. Und haben den schwarzen Peter gelöst. Okay, wo wollen wir hin? Wir wollen eigentlich weg, ne? Was ist los mit... Sch äh, mit äh, Holmes, Watson? please call a cab while I pack my suitcase. We should be late ja. for the train. Hm. Cap vielleicht hier übers einfach aus dem Fenster grün. A map of London and the surrounding area. It could be useful. Oh, schon wieder Dobby. Look after Mrs. Hudson for us, Toby. Oh Mann, man sieht immer die Muddy da drüben. Ey, das reicht dann auch. Das war's aber auch schon, ne? Kann ich einfach abhauen? Watson, I'll hold a cab for us. We leave in five minutes for the station. Eine Woche später, okay. Brr, what a gloomy night. It was warmer inside the waiting hall. Since the station master told us that the train is about to arrive, we should not have to wait very much longer. Yes, at last. Attention, the train is arriving at the station. Please stand well away from the platform edge. 
I'll take your bags and your blasted archive suitcase. <laughs> but, Holmes, the headlight, it's faded away. Something is wrong. I can't hear any sound from the incoming train. Excuse me, sir. Can you explain what has happened? I, I don't know. It, it's as if the train vanished into thin air. Holmes, say something. Quick, fetch a lantern and let us take a look. It's too dark. Only fog and rails, nothing else. Uh, there is no use in stumbling around here at night. We will come back tomorrow. Well, here we are again at Evesham Station. We have a full day ahead. Let us begin our investigation. Okay, we'll mal gucken. This oh, suitcase Archive. contains my archives. We can consult with it if needed. It is fortunate that we took it with us. Ach, das ist natürlich ein Glück. So, also wir gucken mal, wo hier die, ähm, wo der Zug angekommen sein müsste. Eigentlich. Flup. Zuversicht. Na, ich hätte jetzt gedacht, dass hier was wäre, weil normalerweise muss man nämlich das angucken. Wie gesagt, ich habe es ja schon mal gezockt, mal im Gucken. Ah, okay. Ich muss ich das erstmal vorstellen. This is the place where we saw the train vanish last night. Komm, da haben wir jede Menge Spuren. The rails have not been touched. Railway sleepers, nothing unusual. A discarded item, possibly thrown from the train. There are no tracks or footprints on the ground. There are no signs to indicate that the train ran off the track, nor are there any other traces. There is nothing whatsoever. There are no clues, but then a negative result is also a result. Oh, I see what is you're this. getting at. No clues and you're smiling. Yes, Watson, I do smile on occasion. This mystery appears very promising. <laughs> this investigation won't be simple. We shall require a map of the region. Perhaps the station master could lend us one. Okay, then who wants my carta? Good morning. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Sherlock Holmes, and this is my friend and colleague, Dr. Watson. Yes, I remember you. I'm Station Master Everett. You were here last night. So, you are Mr. Holmes, the great detective. Hey, yo. Will you be investigating what happened? I shall indeed. It is extraordinary that an entire train could disappear like that. And to think of all the poor people inside it, the passengers, the driver. Dann schauen wir uns den Vogel erstmal an, ne? Was hat er denn auf? Schönes Mützchen. Eigentlich ganz normal aus, ne? Oh. Gut, verheiratet. Schöne Knöpfchen und eine goldene Uhr. Oh, hier. Auszeichnung oder was? Na, was übersehe ich denn hier? Oh. 
Graue Haare, ja gut, komm bitte. Erdspuren, aha. Could you please give us any details about the train? Well, there was nothing so very special about it. At least not that I can recall. My memory's not what it used to be. <laughs> However, if you need it, you can have the train composition report. It's inside my office. I would be glad to have a detailed map of the local railway district. But of course, please, take the one that's pinned inside the waiting hall. See you later, my good man. Okay, also müssen die Waiting Hall und in sein Büro. Das ist hier die Lift Luggage. Okay. Oh, Postsäcke. Railway Post Bags. And that's it. Ja. Was war das jetzt hier? Da kriege ich auch nichts für, ne? Ne. Ups. So, Wartehalle hier. Die da, Karte, okay. This map will be useful. Flup. Tja, bisher kann ich ja mal gar nichts damit machen, ne? So, sammeln Sie mehr Informationen über den verschwundenen Zug? Okay, das mache ich gleich. Und wir haben eine crazy Karte. Aber lasst uns jetzt nochmal eben in das Büro von dem Typen. Wo ist es? Ne, mit Watson quatschen nicht schon wieder. Was ist hier los in der Halle? Nichts. Okay. An old locomotive bell. Eine Glocke. This part is probably from a locomotive. This place serves as a storage area for the station. This part is probably from a locomotive. Okay, können wir jetzt eine zweite Lok zusammenzimmern oder was? Oder die haben die Lok gesnatcht? <lacht> Und verchecken die Einzelteile jetzt? Oh, was haben wir hier noch Schönes? There was a building here not so long ago. But I don't understand, Holmes. Why would anyone destroy the shed in such a manner? It was disassembled in great haste. It is most odd. Mhm. Mm der Typ hat ja auch so, äh, wie sagt man, Erdzeug. Äh, mal gucken. Aha, Spuren. Sollen wir die irgendwie untersuchen, oder was? Noch mehr Spuren, mehr Spuren, immer mehr Spuren. Spuren eines schweren Fahrzeugs. Okay, untersuchen wir mal. Spur abmessen. The distance between the tracks is about six feet seven inches. Six feet seven inches. The vehicle would have been heavy, as these tracks are quite deep. These traces are relatively fresh and were made by a large truck loaded with materials. This road should lead to the town of Evesham. Okay, is that something else? Okay, it's in order, but we must just a quick... Wenn jetzt hier nicht das Büro von dem Typen ist, dann ist es da hinten. Ah. Ja. 
Ein Telegramm, okay. A new telegram. I think we should meet this, Mr. Robinson. Bridlington, okay. Und das ist der Special Wagon ordered by Mr. Robinson. Also der Robinson hat da irgendwie einen crazy Spezialwaggon gemietet. Okay, das können wir de facto den komischen Fuzzi hier mal fragen, weil ich meine, der sollte ja eigentlich wissen, was da mit der Hütte passiert ist, außer wenn er so schmutzig ist mit seinen Klamotten. Ja, das war's aber auch schon hier, ne? Mülleimer, nichts Besonderes, oder? Nein. Okay, hier noch was. Ich gedacht, dass hier noch irgendwelche wichtigen Infos sind. Nö. So, jetzt will ich ihn aber nochmal befragen, was Sache ist hier mit dem Haus dann eben an und überhaupt dieser Spezialwaggon. According genau, to the train composition report, there was a special wagon. What does that entail? That's a highly secure car, ordered by a private party. Uh, it is generally to carry something of value. Uh, those wagons have iron walls, you know, without any windows. Uh, and they're fitted with a complex key lock. That is important information. Do you know what was inside this particular wagon? Certainly not. No, that's private. And it's not my responsibility to allot the wagons to whoever. Was there anything exceptional about any of the passengers aboard the train? What do you mean? Like officials? Oh, I wouldn't know. Oh, oh, but now that you mention it, yes, there was something. There was a message from Bridlington Station saying that the train had been delayed because of an issue with the passengers. But what kind of problem that they didn't say? That is interesting. Okay. You mentioned a problem at Bridlington Station. I should like to visit this station. Could you mark it on the local map? Of course. It's a suburban railway station. You might take a cab there. It appears that there was a small warehouse near your station and that it was disassembled. Why is that? It was burgled overnight about two weeks ago. The police have already started their investigation, but I doubt that they'll find anything. What was inside the warehouse? Nothing of value. A few hundred feet of standby rails and some spare railway parts. But it wouldn't be easy to steal all of that. Why would anyone want to? See you later. Tja, weil er vielleicht irgendwie andere Gleise baut oder was? Ah, crazy shit. Also, was haben wir? Wir haben ein neues Ding auf der. Ja, da können wir hinfahren. Was haben wir denn am Start hier? Wir müssen mal, finden Sie heraus, was der Sonderwagen des verschiedenen Zugs transportiert. Okay, sammeln Sie Informationen über die Fahrgäste. Ja, dazu müssen wir mit diesem Robinson reden, ne? Upp. Erfahren Sie Bahnhofsverstehe von Yves, erhielt die Nachricht und so weiter. Also ich glaube, wir fahren einfach mal... Achso, es geht einfach so, ne? So, schön in Bridlington. Hm, wir können... Was ist denn hier los? Da ist mein Archiv. Oh, noch nicht, ne? Oh, schon wieder Postbag. Ah, Wartehalle. This is an absolute scandal. It's always the same with these rail companies. No respect for the customer. Wieso? Was ist denn los? No respect. A 
Arbeitskleidung ist okay. Was hat er damit dabei? Eine kleine billige Fahrkarte, okay. Ist verheiratet. Hat ein Lulu. Und was war noch? Raue Haut, okay. Nur was Please passiert? Please calm down, sir. What is your concern? Concern? What is my concern? I'll tell you what my concern is. Last night I was on the train as usual with my colleague heading home. Then along came this ridiculous ticket inspector who started arguing that our tickets were invalid. He made us get off the train and he was extremely rude about it. Were you aboard the train that vanished last night? Yes. I heard that it disappeared. But I don't care because we would have stopped before then anyway. Our tickets were valid and no doubt about it. And then, to top it all, the ticket inspector pushed everyone else out too, except for a bunch of rich. Well, because their type don't need a ticket. Can you recall anything more specific about this fortunate group? Well, yes. They were all foreigners. Spanish-looking toffs with snake eyes. Goodbye, sir. Okay, Spanier. Hmm. Kann ich mir jetzt so nicht vorstellen, ne? Sind da Spanier drin? Wobei es eigentlich egal ist, wer es er hier ist. Ah, Mr. Robinson, okay. Good day to you, sir. Good day. To whom am I speaking? <lacht> My name is Sherlock Holmes, and this is... Are you a representative of this damned railway company? Because I have a complaint. We are not from the railway company. We are... Well, in that case, Mr. Shamrock Flomes, please excuse me. But I'm not in the mood to live on chit at the moment. Hmm. Der ist ja nett. Den mustern wir jetzt erstmal. Er hat eine dicke Nase, ein Cowboyhut auf jeden Fall. Ah, Australian. Okay, was hat er noch? Ohren, graue Nase, graue Haare. Schöne Klamotten. Ja, teure Kleidung. Dicken Bauch. Ein Crazy Ring. Ja, okay. Ein kleines Täschchen hat er auch noch. Komm. Okay, kaum Kulose. Krokostiefel oder was? Alter, Krokostiefel. <lacht> Alles klar. You must be Mr. Robinson, is that correct? Yes. I am leading the investigation of the disappearing train. It would help if you could answer my questions. Ah, well, all right. I have nothing to hide. I presume it was you who placed the order for the special wagon. Yes. It was to transport my valuable prototype safely to London. My prototype is a revolutionary device. It is capable of producing electricity. I'm a businessman and an engineer. I had already found several potential customers for my invention. But I was very optimistic about the director's board who were traveling on the train last night. Ooh, okay. Mm -hmm. You mentioned a director's board. Which company do they own? The Chilean Barcazas Company. I had made an appointment with them. Now they are lost, along with the train and my prototype. What do you know about the Barcazas Company? It's a large South American company. They showed a great deal of interest in my prototype, and they seemed wealthy enough to do business with. Okay, she hmm. lean. Okay. This revolutionary machine of yours, was it very valuable? For God's sake, sir, it is priceless. It could change the world we live in. And yet, I was selling it for almost nothing. I am a humanitarian, you see. I do not know if I will ever be able to get over this disaster. I cannot believe that it disappeared with that damn train. Mr. Robinson, could you please clarify? Were you traveling alongside your prototype? Yes, I was. But I had to step off the train. And all because of this stupid station master. I received a telegram declaring that an important person, a Mr. Bromsby, wished to see you in the waiting room. I, I merely informed you of this. 
Mr. Bromsby is a wealthy gentleman. His interest in my invention was truly unexpected. So yes, of course, I agreed to see him. Unfortunately, he wasn't there. I thought perhaps he might have been delayed, so I chose to wait a while. But despite my requests, the train left the station without me. Absolutely unacceptable! The timetable is strict. We cannot wait any longer. The regulations require the train to be on time. You are an idiot! You will pay for it! I will sue you! The ticket inspector forced all the passengers from the train, except for the directors of the Barcazes Chilean Company. Tja, das ist interessant, aber dann wollten wir uns hier nochmal zur Brust nehmen, oder? Junge, wo bist du? Da ist da ein Blatt Papier, aha. The insurance policy for Robinson's machine. A significant sum. 50%, warte mal, aber Totalschaden. 50% des Gegenwärts, maximal 15.000 Pfund. Versicherungsdauer ein Jahr verlängerbar. Okay. Klar, Moment. Was haben wir hier? Also, Versicherungsding, müssen wir ihn nochmal fragen. Ja, das mit den Fahrgästen, ne? das müssen wir vielleicht nochmal fragen hier, den Typen. So, was war jetzt hier noch? Tele ja. Okay, lass mal mit denen sprechen. Good day to you, gentlemen. How may I help you? Good day to you, sir. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I am investigating the unfortunate disappearance of last night's train. I see. Uh, I'm Station Master Bertram, but my supervisor has not informed me about this. I do not know if... Uh, do not worry. I have only a few questions. Station Master Everett from Evesham told us that you reported a problem with some passengers last night. Indeed. This train is a regular line for those who work at Nottingham. But yesterday, everyone was asked to get off the train here at my station. I've no idea why, and it delayed the train. But the worst of it is that now I have to deal with two furious passengers who are complaining about the company's service. They stayed here the whole night. But people do not usually pay much attention to the regulations, you see. There are very strict and clear rules. Paragraph 234 of Article 2G-43 states that in the event of a complaint, you must... Yes, yes, thank you. Alter, I ja, wollte gerade sagen. Mensch, den gucken wir uns jetzt mal an den Vogel, der hat ja irgendwie ein bisschen... Kleine Meise, ne? Ja, der ist recht jung. Heißt ja erstmal nix. Schönen Schlips alle an. Saubere Kleidung, ja. Das ist doch gut. Bisschen Knöpfchen, Knöpfchen, alles Tipi. Was hat er? Oh, er braucht immer ein Heftchen dabei. Vorschriften, Fetischist. Und Tintenflecken, ja. Hm. Irgendwas sonst los? Did you notice anything else that was unusual last night? I did. And I mentioned it in my report to our higher management on the matter. What was it? Sorry, but I can't tell you. The station master's reports are confidential. Confidential, you say? How long have you been working here? I have worked here long enough to be uh, quite capable of managing a railway station. Uh -huh. Let me speak frankly, Mr. Bertram. Your age and your lack of confidence in your position are quite apparent. You cannot deny that you have only recently completed your studies. I was at the top of my class. Listen here, young man. I am aware that you wish to protect yourself behind all these regulations, but I represent the law. And you are obstructing the investigation of an important case. I would suggest that you cooperate with Mr. Holmes. Think of your career. Ah, that is... Well, I'll tell you everything. First of all, I scolded the ticket inspector, for it was he who asked the passengers to leave the train. It was not his right to do so. He was very rude. And then, later on, I received a most peculiar telegram from my colleague at Chesterfield Station, the next stop along the line. Chesterfield Station? What did okay. the telegram say? Well, that was the peculiar thing. 
It was almost unreadable. It was full of errors and awfully vague. It was hard to understand if the train had correctly passed that station or not. You can read it for yourself. We ought to visit Chesterfield Station. We need to confirm if the station master saw the train or not. Okay, voll die Fehler, ey. Nummer 324, Ankunftszeit 30, Abfahrtszeit 35, 5 Minuten halt. <lacht> so, und wir müssen Chesterfield fahren. Aber ich sag's euch mal ganz ehrlich, nach Crazy Chesterfield fahren wir mal erst in der nächsten Session. Also, bis dann. Ciao.